Mountain State, the flagship of the National Wrestling Alliance, bringing you great wrestling action, sanctioned by the NWA. Oh my God! All American knockout! Oh, this is Judge's decision. No. Judge's decision. No. Judge's decision. You see Ron Sexton looking on Scotty. Measures him. Speed star press. Tune in each week to see the greatest stars in independent wrestling along with your hosts, Jonathan Stiles, Stephen Hensley, and Jacques Moliere. NWA Mountain State is paid in part by Lewis Automotive in Beckley and LewisAutomotive.com, giving you the best deals on Suzuki, Nissan, and pre-owned cars. Kramer Security and Investigations, now hiring in all of Southern West Virginia at kramersecurity.net. Mark A. Hunt and Associates, practicing law since 1994 and online at markahunt.com. The West Virginia Tobacco Quit Line. Get help to quit smoking now at westvirginiaquitline.com. This is Commissioner Larry Light. If you'd like to see the great TV stars of NWA Mountain State Wrestling come to your town, give us a call at area code 304-673-2054 or check us out on the web. Every time I enter the Mountain State Wrestling locker room, all I hear is Ricky Shane, have you heard the big buzz? Have you heard that Lance Erickson, the Canadian Lion, has made his way back to Mountain State Wrestling? Well, Lance Erickson, there's only one difference between Ricky Shane and the rest of the boys in the locker room. Is when I hear that one of the greats of West Virginia, one of the best to lace up a pair of boots, is coming into my federation, I run straight to the office and I talk to whoever I got to to put my name on the dotted line. Lance Erickson, I don't have your resume and I don't have your veteran experience. But you can guarantee one thing. Whether I pin your shoulders or you pin mine, I tap you out, you tap me out. You will, like the rest of the world, know who I am. Let me tell you something, Ricky Shane. You're a heck of a worker. I'm not going to take anything away from you. Lance Erickson has all the respect in the world for you. But let me tell you something. You're out here talking about the boys in the back. Oh, Lance is back, Lance is back. That's right. Lance is back. So let me tell you a little something. When I turn the hat around, there's a change in me. And there's starting to be a change in me already, Ricky Shane, that nobody in that locker room wants to see, especially you. Now, I respect you. I'm going to wrestle you clean. I'm not going to revert back to the old tactics of Lance Erickson of taking the cheap way out. I don't have to because I can wrestle. But I've got one thing for you. Thank you for all the nice things you said about me. I'm happy about that. But when it comes down to it, you still have to step in the ring with me. So I don't have to come out here and holler and ran around and prayed and this and that. I don't even need a title to get over. Because I'm Lance Erickson, the Canadian Lion. So you lace them up tight tonight, son. I'm from Wyoming County too originally. So you lace them up tight. You get ready and know that when Lance Erickson steps inside that squared circle, you've got your hands full, son. I hope you're ready for it. Get ready, because the Canadian line's coming. Beat me if you can. Survive if I let you, Ricky. You are now watching NWA Mountain State Wrestling. How you doing, everybody? Hey, I'm doing good. I, I didn't hear anybody else, though. Oh, well, uh, don't worry about it. You know, forget about it. Forget about it. Well, everybody, I just want to let everybody know for this era, we have an exciting double main event. Our first main event will be Matt Connard defends the NWA Mountain State Wrestling TV title against the Stro, the Maestro of Wrestling. And, uh, buddy, why don't you tell everybody what our second main event is? Wow. And in our second main event, the NWA MSW champion, Carl, 
the Psycho Superman is going to defend against Johnny Blast. Yes, yes. And don't forget about Mountain Jamboree coming to Summersville Saturday, August 20th at the Youth and Community Center in Summersville, 730, August the 20th. Be there or you will regret it. I like that, buddy. I couldn't have said it any better myself. I know, because I'm, I'm an accomplished broadcaster. Because you're a buddy love. All right. Well, that's good. That's really good. But I'm Jacques Moliere, and Who? right now we have Ricky Shane and Lance Erickson getting ready to wrestle one another and just go straight up at it. And, you know, as we heard backstage before this match, Ricky Shane has an incredible respect for Lance Erickson. Lance Erickson is an accomplished singles and tag team wrestler. He's been all over West Virginia, all over the East Coast, and he's been there, he's done it, he's done it for many years, and Ricky Shane wants to test his abilities against the Canadian Lion, Lance Erickson. The Canadian Lion, Lance Grr, Erickson. baby, grr. All right. If you say so. All right, here we go, both men. Now in a corner turnbuckle. Let's see here. Oh, we're gonna have a clean break. Yes, yeah. we have a clean break. Two accomplished wrestlers, a lot of respect in this match. All right. And, and look, break. look at the respect. I mean, so shaking hands. That, that's what we need in this world today. It's good sportsmanship. There's a lot of people out there that don't respect the sport. All right. There look at go. the big man with the arm drags. Now, Japanese drag. arm drag right there. Yes. Another oh. Japanese arm drag. Wow, a Japanese arm wow. drag from both men. It looks like it's about even. It's and these aren't even. exactly cruiserweights out there. These are big men out there flying around, beating each other up, all out of respect. All right, and once again, they shake hands on it. The, the love is in the air. No, I'm right here. Well, buddy love is right here as well. You know, fans, you know, maybe I shouldn't mention this, but these guys could be brothers. I mean, look at them. Nah. They look very similar. I mean, nah, they probably on. aren't. Maybe long lost cousins or something, but not but, brothers. But, or, I mean, you know, Lance Erickson does have a few years. It could be father, son, maybe. I don't know. There, there is a little, little favor I don't know, in the appearance. I, I mean, I have to disagree with you. They, they I mean,. They're both white. I mean, you know, they got the same skin color. You know, that's about it. Well, they got the goatee, the short cropped hair. Well, they both have gold teeth and short hair. You're no help for me sometimes. You know that. I apologize. Uh, I, I can't help myself. Oh, good takeover. Big, down. big oh, headlock takeover into the head scissors. That was a good reverse. Good technical wrestling out of these big guys. Well, I, I, I guess Patrick Nicholas doesn't have nothing to worry about in this match here. He has nothing to worry about in this match. Well, yeah, then again, I don't know. We'll see. We'll just have to wait and see. All right. Now, this match is scheduled for a 15-minute time limit. Yes, it is. It, it is uh, for 15 minutes. You're absolutely right, buddy. So these men are going to go at it. Off the ropes. Big hip toss. Oh. Nice power slam. That's a lot of Angus B flying around that ring. That's, that's some good stuff. Five minutes has elapsed. Ten minutes remaining. You don't see too many 15 minute matches, uh, uh, but you know, we have them. We have them pretty often, but you don't see too many. Well, as fast paced as the first five minutes have been, Lance Erickson taking a timeout. A time I don't know if it's a full or a 30, but he's going to take a breather. I don't think it's a timeout. I think it's more like a game plan. He's trying to figure out what he's going to do next. Because Ricky Shane, he's ready to go. But is Lance Erickson ready to go? I mean,. I really don't know. I'm not a mind reader. I'm just a psychic. Nah, I'm just kidding. Disregard that last comment. All right, Lance Erickson back in the ring once again. Everything's cool. All right, Everything's all right, good. They all right. We, we've got the respect thing. We know that they like each other. We know it's a test. 
Can we stop with the handshakes every 40 seconds? Well, People yeah. didn't pay to see a bunch of handshakes. Where I come from, buddy love, when you shake somebody's hand, it's because you respect them. You know? If you don't but, shake their hand, you ain't got no respect. But like in a football game, you don't shake hands after every tackle, after every play. You shake hands before the game, at halftime, and at the end of the game. Well, in that case, they smack each other's on the rear end. They ain't, I don't see them doing that now. Well, this is a family show, and you know, we don't want to talk about that. Yeah, <laughs> I have to agree with you. I do agree with you on that one, uh, buddy love. But, uh, yeah, you know, uh, don't forget about our website, friends. Um, if you don't we have know, a website. It is, yes, it is uh, nwamountainstate.com. Uh, NWA MountainState.com. Uh, oh, wow. Woo nice. There we go. You know, I was just getting ready to uh, let everybody know our uh, wonderful producers of NWA Mountain State Wrestling, uh, uh, Cucumber and Company, uh, Scott and Zach, you know, one of the greatest guys out there, and Dwayne as well, you know, the owner of Cucumber Company. Fans, if you got to check out that website, you know, if you ever need any kind of, you know, uh, uh, web or your video or DJing or anything like that, these guys do it all, uh, computers, all that, you know, producing. Uh, editing, you know, these And guys let me tell you, their work is as cool as a cucumber. Yes, yes. It's that time of the season for your cucumbers to grow in the garden, too. So remember the name. You can't forget it. Cucumber and Company. All right. Here we go. Lance Erickson off the ropes. Shoulder tackle. Ricky and Shane down to the center of the ring. But he gets up. Wow. Ricky Shane ain't no Lance slouch. Erickson, he's gotten a lot of frequent flyer miles. He's being tossed around the ring. Ricky Shane has brought us A game. Raw talent is now well done. Yeah, yeah, well done, huh? Oh, man. Uh, okay. Uh, I, I like my meat, medium, rare, but. You know, oh, wow, there we go. Nice reversal. Yeah, absolutely. Lance Erickson with the takedown, and then Ricky Shane with the reverse. This is a great match here. These guys are just showing each other respect, but at the same time, they are actually performing and wrestling one another to the best of their abilities. And don't forget, fans, coming up, our next match is going to be a number one contenders tag team match for the NWA tag titles, NWA Mountain State tag titles. We've got the Baronis brothers, Tristan Law and Ray Ray Mars against Dan Murdoch and Steve Off. Oh, that's going to be great. That's going to be a huge matchup. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. Man. Here we go. Number one contenders match. Up next. Let's get back to this match, though, buddy. Oh, man. Woo-wee. I tell you, that is absolutely painful right there. Ricky Shane is 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 hurting right now. His hand is, is hurting, trying to smack the numbness out of it. See, sometimes that's what you got to do, fellas. You got to smack the numbness out of things, you know? And, and sometimes, you know, you got to smack the numbness out of a lot of things. But, yeah. uh, you know, I'm not... I'm not I you know. smack the numbness out of your brain. Well... Okay, I really won't. I, I appreciate working with you. I'll be nice. Oh, okay, because I was about to say, don't, don't let me get New York up in here now. You know what I'm saying, buddy love? Because the only thing you'll be smacking is the floor. <laughs> <laughs> There we go. Two. Oh, man. Let's see here. Ricky Shane. Trying to catch his breath here. Oh, remember. Ten minutes has elapsed. Five minutes remaining. So much action in this first ten minutes. We got five minutes to go. I don't know if they've got enough to finish the Did you just say estrogen? Huh? Did you just say estrogen? No. Oh, okay. All right. I don't know if they've got enough left. There's been a lot of effort in the first ten minutes. Oh, okay. All right. I apologize for that, fans. I thought uh, Bloody Love was uh, talking about something else there. But, uh, Perhaps it's now time to get a new sponsor, Q-Tips. Oh, what a big knee by Lance Erickson. And the big elbow, knocking the breath out of him. Two. Oh! Okay, that was, that was real close right there. The two count. Where is this match is going to be over? That's what's going through Ricky Shane's mind. 
Neither one wanting to give an inch. They're both giving it their all, trying to prove themselves. Lance Erickson trying to prove he's still one of the best in the business. Mickey Shane trying to prove that he is one of the best in the business. 11 minutes has elapsed. Four minutes remaining. I don't think it's going to go the full 15. I think these guys are tired. It's going to be one move and then it's over. You know. We are one move away from this match being over. Both guys are tired. They're fatigued. They're gassed. They want to end this match quickly. Yeah, I mean, that's exactly what they you got to be thinking that. Somebody wants to win this match. Both men are going to give it all they got. Can he take down Lance? Lance, no. Yes, he takes it. This could be it. It's one. A two. No. Oh, he kicked out a one. Oh, he missed. Oh, oh wow. that's it. That's oh. it. What a big super kick. Yep, yeah, that's it. Call the Lance fat lady. Lance, no. Wait, send the fat lady backstage. This match is not over. I thought it was. Ricky Shane still got some in him. Still got some left in him. I thought my ex-wife was about to sing. Twelve minutes has elapsed. Three minutes remaining. <laughs> wow. Well, it's obvious that we can see that Ricky Shane still has something in him. He does not want to lose. They both must have been drunk. They mu both must have drunk their G series this morning. I don't know what they're drinking, but I sure do want some. Whatever they're drinking, I would like to have a taste too. That's two. two. This could be it. This, this it. could be it. Yep. No. No. All right, come on, Ricky Shane. Ricky Shane, dig it deep. Yes, come on, gain, gain the momentum. The crowd is going wild. The fans are cheering. Ricky Shane, come on. Beat Lance Erickson is what they're saying. I don't know if you can hear him, but I know I can. Big elbows to the gut. Lance Erickson ain't looking good for him right now. 13 minutes has elapsed. Two minutes remaining. Two minutes is getting a crunch time. Maybe I was wrong. Maybe they can go. I don't know. Lance off the ropes. Oh! oh. Huge, that huge was, back body drop. That was huge. Ricky Shea, oh, what's this? He's sorry. Time out. It's calling what? for time. There is no time. Exactly. We got like 90 seconds left. There is no time out. I want to see a winner here. We're one move away from seeing a winner. I want to see it. Ricky Shea. Who is the better man tonight? Oh, man. Oh, off the turnbuckle. Oh, what a spine buster. It's a No. Woo he oh. kicks out. Ricky Shane kicks out. Come on, Ricky. Ricky Shane. Shane. I don't know what he's thinking right now, but he's definitely thinking something. 14 minutes has elapsed. One minute remaining. The final One 60 minute. seconds. This match will be gone in 60 seconds. Yes, you got 60 seconds to figure something out. Big elbow right to the forehead. I'm telling you, Ricky Shane didn't like that. He's I, in stars. I've been saying it for the last five minutes. One move could end it. This could be the move right here. If he hurries. He's taking a lot of time. Oh, he just missed him. Come on. All right, we're hit. We've got to be close to the final 30 seconds. Oh, we're pretty close to 30 seconds. Yes, we are. 30 seconds remaining. 30 seconds. Ricky Shane is going for the victory right here. Ricky Shane on the top rope. Would this be his? Would this be his calling or what? Yes. Big frog splash. Seconds remaining. Twenty seconds. Twenty what seconds. What a big frog splash. Fifteen seconds. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, uh -oh, five, four, three, two, one. That's it. This match is over. And we apparently. Ladies and gentlemen, time limit has expired. Therefore, we have a draw. Ricky Shane and Lance Erickson. Time limit draw, everybody. You don't see that every day. That was amazing. Sure These two was. warriors, the Canadian Lion and Ricky Shane, going toe-to-toe -to -toe for 15 minutes.
What an impressive display. Absolutely. I, I definitely have to agree with you, buddy. Hey, Southern West Virginia, are you tired of tricks and gimmicks when buying a pre-owned vehicle? Well, at Lewis Automotive, you get the absolute lowest price every day. Plus, we offer 2.9% financing on every pre-owned in stock. Plus, the guaranteed highest value for your trade. Bad credit, no credit, let Lewis help you today. All on Southern West Virginia's largest selection of quality pre-owned vehicles. Come in today and get the best customer service guaranteed. Only at Lewis Automotive in Beckley. I'm telling you, it was drop dead. So Joey says to the guy, Fresh flavor never sounded so good. Love when that happens. Applebee's introduces two new sizzling entrees. Try the new sizzling Cajun steak and shrimp or our new sizzling smokehouse chicken stack. New sizzling entrees starting at $8.99. Only at Applebee's. There's no place like the neighborhood. Open till midnight or later. For the past 16 years, Mark Hunt has helped hundreds of people who were injured in a car wreck. Mark Hunt and Associates help people put their lives back together after a car wreck. We get cars repaired, medical bills and lost wages paid, and get you the compensation deserved. Call Mark Hunt and Associates. We have the experience to help you when you can't help yourself. Mark Hunt and Associates, 304-344-1800 or on the web at www.markahunt.com. I was up in Pittsburgh, up in NWA East, watching on the internet, watching on television about the NWA Mountain State. And then I thought, what better way for the NWA East champion, the best in the NWA East, to come down to NWA Mountain State and defend the title. NWA Mountain State, get ready. And quickly, we're underway. An old-fashioned melee to get things started here in this number one contenders match. You know, I feel uh, kind of left out of the loop. I did not realize this had been changed to a two-tag team match for the number one contender to the NWA Mount State Tag Team Titles. Well, I, uh, I blame you, Jacques Moliere. What's that? I blame you. Well, it's, it's, it's all good. You know, it's all good in the hood. It's all good in the hood, in the neighborhood, and at NWA, Mount State Wrestling. Tristan Law and Ray Ray Ma Mars, our tag team champion, our tag team uh, our partners. Well, here, here's, a, here's the dynamic you got to watch out for. It's obvious that Tristan Law and Ray Ray Mars have been tag teamed before. Uh, up until last week after a beatdown, these two guys, and I'm talking about Dan Murdoch and Steve Off, have never been tag partners. How is that going to work? And how is it going to work when, let's just say, they win it and then they win the tag titles? How, are the, how is Steve Off going to look at Dan as his tag team partner with two belts? I mean, there's going to be some interesting dynamics as this, as this progresses. But then again, Ray Ray and Tristan can come up with a victory, and then this tag team over here of Steve Off and Dan Murdoch could be non-existent. It's a lot of interesting things to watch out for as this match continues. A lot of good tags in and out here, good cohesive units thus far. Mars, double clothesline, double elbow drops. This is some good stuff right here. Good tag team part. Oh, Law with the break. You know, uh, that's not a bad move, you know. Make, uh, break the pin count. Keep the match going. 
And the Hollywood Outlaws firmly in control of this matchup. Double. Two. And Laura is really wanting to get in there. Mars ain't doing too good in there. These guys make a good tag team. Uh, uh, tag team. Nice slam. I hear in the early going, things are going really well for the Hollywood Outlaws. They're working together. Things are going great. What happens when adversity strikes this team for the first time? This don't look good for Mars. Both men on the top ropes. Oh, man. It seems like it's just about double everything with these guys. These guys are a really good tag team. Law breaking up the count. And Tristan Law is, he's just left to salivate on the sidelines. Listen. Looks like Law is the, uh, wears the pants in this tag team ship right here. Now that's just me, that's just my opinion. I don't know what you think. A reversal. Oh wow, what a, what a big kick to the, to the back of the head. And the momentum has switched hands. Now let's see the Hollywood Outlaws continue their cohesive unit or if the adversity changes how they perform. Law off the ropes. Oh man, what a big elbow drop. Steve Wolf kicks out. Working on the shoulders right there. It's hard to throw a punch if uh, it's hard to raise your arms if your shoulders are screwed up. All right. Steve Wolf in trouble. Beautiful. Steve Wolf has fought the law and the law is winning right now. That's a, that's a good one, buddy. I, I would not have thought of anything like that. But, uh, it's all good. I, I like to throw some references out in my broadcast just to keep people entertained and informed. Well, well you do what you got to do. Oh, speaking of double teams, it's about time the other half uh, work together. Uh oh. Oh, a low blow. Oh. A low blow. Patrick Nick. He hit him right in the off zone. Five minutes has elapsed. Five minutes remaining. Pa Patrick Nichol was really <laughs> letting uh, Mars know what the deal is. Oh! Big leg. Big leg. Right there by Mars. Get on my level, baby. Nice leg drop. With the follow through of the pin. Two count. Now, now, I think Patrick Nicholas is doing a good job with his count. Patrick Nicholas is one of the best referees in America today. Uh, yes, in the history of uh, Mountain State Wrestling as well. Look at this double team right here. Oh, man. Now, that's how you do a double team right there. Patrick Nicholas is one of the best referees ever say. if you don't count on about 20 other people. Okay. Oh. <laughs> Oh, okay. Oh, oh, man. Oh, big crossbody. Cross almost, almost had it. Okay. All right, there we go. The tag is now, it's now made. Steve, Steve off in trouble. Apparently he has had enough. Makes Big the tag. tag! The junior heavyweight champion doing a little boxing in there now. Oh! Shades of Dusty Rhodes! Oh! More Shades of Dusty Rhodes, the All American Nightmare, barring some off the American Dream. Seven minutes has elapsed, three minutes remaining. Dan Murdoch looking for his signature. No. A swing and a miss. Oh, oh and a big bruising high knee. That, that's it. It's over. Oh, Steve off with the save. Oh, man. Dang. Lights out for Mars. Oh, man. Big. 
big spine buster. Beautiful uh, I, right I there. I think Patrick Nicholas doesn't really know uh, what to do at this moment right now. Uh, it, it's just broken down. Oh, man. Who are these guys? Tristan Law and Ray Ray Mars. <laughs> Double Murdoch with a double. double. Official man. Double your pleasure, double your fun. Oh, Dad Murdoch won. The winners of the match. The All American. Dan Murdoch and the Silver Screen Superstar. Steve off together. They are the Hollywood Outlaws. So an exciting tag team match there as the Hollywood Outlaws come up with a big victory over Tristan Law and Ray Ray Mars. So Jacques Moe here, what a match. Absolutely, that was just incredible right there. Mr. Murdoch is calling for the microphone. Tristan Law, Ray Ray, come here. Come on. We just saw you walk to the back. Come on. We know you're scared of us. Where's your little partner? Oh, look at him. He's all uh, out of it. You know what? <laughs> you mess with the wrong two people. Yeah, you mess with the Silver Screen Superstar and the All-American Nightmare. We are the Hollywood Outlaws! And we're the new team in town. So all you tag teams, plus you two, watch your backs. I'm in your head. I'm the All-American Nightmare. He's a Silver Screen Superstar. Any team back there, we will turn your lights off and it's going to be your worst nightmare. Kramer Security and Investigations, an industry leader, is currently hiring for the position of security officer throughout Southern West Virginia. At Kramer, quality begins and ends with our security officers. We are proud to offer a variety of shifts, competitive wages, professional training, and a great opportunity. For information, please call 304-256-0300. That's 256-0300 or apply in person at our Market Street, Beckley, or Walker Street, Princeton locations. Kramer Security and Investigations, securing your future today. An equal opportunity employer. Mount Hope, West Virginia, July the 30th, NWA Mountain State Wrestling returns to your town. Johnny Blast will be there, Ricky Shane will be there, the Maestro will be there, the guys you don't like will be there, but take all your hard-earned money, come on down and pay us a visit. August 13th, Hinton, West Virginia, the junior heavyweight champion, the All-American Nightmare, Dan Murdoch, and the silver screen superstar himself, Steve Off. The Hollywood Outlaws will be in the building. Be there. The Reaper Matt Connard riding high on that gravy train. NWA Elite, NWA Mountain State Television Champion. Must be feeling really good right now with your buddies Carl, the heavyweight champion, the tag team champions, cruise control. But you're defending that title against somebody who's never been NWA Mountain State Television Champion. You're defending that title against Strozilla himself, the people's champion, by the people, for the people. Hello, somethingawful.com. Matt, life is about inches. An inch is whether you're born into the world or if you grow. An inch is where you become a success. 
and live life high. Or an inch can be when you're down low in the gutter, barely scraping pork and beans, buddy. An inch as whether you become the champion of champions. Or an inch can become just another contender or fly by night, one hit wonder. A niche is whether you live or whether you die. So I ask you this, Reaper. What inch are you going to take when you step in the ring with me? Because <laughs> Strozilla, baby, I'm not taking an inch or two inches or three inches or four inches or five inches. I'm taking a whole country mile. All of you are noggin'. Get ready, because Stro will bring the pain. Ooh, la, la. All right, everybody. This match is going to be amazing. Just pure amazing. Do you want to know why, buddy? We saw why last week when there was no title on the line, but this week the NWA Mountain State television title is on the line. That's exactly right. Fans, if you missed last week's episode for some odd reason it's all right don't worry about it you know what i mean but you need hey, to don't, watch hey no 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 you got to catch it online yes. don't, don't just say oh i miss it no, never mind go catch it online absolutely our website nwamountstate.com so if you missed last week's episode you can always go to our website just don't let it happen again absolutely don't let it happen again because you just can't be missing this stuff but uh, like I was saying, this is going to be a great wrestling match between the Stro and the television champion, the Reaper. Already, the knee of the Reaper is already looking bad. What's the old saying? Turnabout's fair play. Remember last week, McEnard took the entire match and destroyed the Maestro's knee. Maestro's got a lot of treatment, a lot of physical therapy this week, and now he's going to do the same thing to the Reaper's knee that he did to the Stro's knee last week. I, I think they also call that quick pro pro. Am I not right? Is anybody familiar with that? Quick pro pro? Well, it or pro bono? Matter. I don't know. In, in this case... I, I, don't, I don't speak Spanish. Oh, it's not Spanish. But, uh, you know, anyways, like I was saying, looks like the Reaper, okay, he gets the ropes, come on, makes the break, all right, clean break. The Stro is not being disqualified because he made the clean break, but that would be foolish of the Stro to get disqualified because then he won't be the television champion. Oh, looks like the Stro is yoking up the Reaper, but once again, the Reaper, the television champion, grabs the ropes. Running out of the ring, limping, sitting on that steel chair, I guess, I guess he needs a moment. He's taking a break, he's getting some blood flow back to that leg, and I tell you what, you know, with this TV title match going on right now, it just goes back to last week when he tapped out. He tapped out quickly, so he didn't suffer any lasting injuries or effects from that submission hold last week. Now, you know, instead of having two things to do about, you know, the neck or the head that was being in the vice last week, now all he's got to do is worry about his own knee. The so. Stro literally throws the Reaper back in. Man. Uh, I, I say this ain't good for the Reaper. Not at all. It is just, oh man, it, this has got to be so excruciating, so painful, but he still kicks out. He's still going through. He's Look at this survived. leg hold. A, a, a side figure four. Have you ever seen anything like that? Yeah, that, that's old school stuff. That's stuff that you don't see anymore. Everybody's all about the high flash. Nobody's willing to do the dirty work, to do the basics. And this is what Stroh is t teaching this young man. As much as this is a battle of your know, wills, this is also an education. Well, they're definitely at war between one another. And there's an old saying, everybody, if you win the battle, that doesn't mean you won the war. But these men are definitely going at it right now. And, and I don't know what kind of war to call it. it, it it's, it's just incredible. 
that these men have so much hate for one another, so much anger. Here we go, everybody. Oh, no. He got the eyes. Shortcut. That's what you got to do sometimes as champion when the deck is just being stacked against you by a, a veteran. You got to find a shortcut, and that's what can, uh, the Reaper did. Oh, no. He gets him. He gets him with the chops. Everybody loves the chops. The fans go crazy. Here we go. Stro. Oh. Oh. A little bit of a knee to the temple there. Yeah, ate a little knee there, the Reaper. Ha. How did it taste? I'll ask him later. He might get mad at me. There we go. Once again, Stro continuously working on that left knee. That's how, that's how he's going to beat the Reaper. Oh, oh, a big DDT. DDT out of nowhere. Five minutes has elapsed. Five minutes remaining. And you see the effects of that knee. The Reaper just cannot get the leverage because he can't push off of that left leg. You know, I actually thought the Reaper defeated the Stroh there. Nice elbow drop. And yes. again. The Reaper cannot oh, push off that left leg, reversed. and now he's reversed. Just barely kicks out. Shoulders up. That was uh, that was pretty interesting right there. Uh, A lot know, of close calls. Definitely, absolutely. A lot of close calls there. Man, I just can't believe how much these two hate each other. They're gonna they're gonna kill each other in there. Or, or, Somebody's and career actually might be on the line during this match. Can, the Reaper may want to tap right now, save his career. Titles can be re-won later on, but not if you can't walk. I think it's more of a pride thing right now. You know what I mean? Well, there's a fine line between pride and stupidity. Okay. I, I mean, okay. seriously. Well, right. the Reaper able to finally get out, but how much damage has been done? He can oh. barely stand. He barely got that kick. Kicked right to the face, though. Big kick to the back. Oh, man. Oh, a kick to the back of the head. Stroke yeah, could be out. Yeah. Uh, it, and the Reaper. Stroke's tapping. No. Stroke wasn't tapping. I, I thought he was tapping out there. Even if he was tapping, he was in the rope, so the ref wasn't going to call it. All right. Seven minutes has elapsed. Three minutes remaining. Well, both men. Well, the Reaper with the nice elbows. Oh, the miss. Oh. Woo nice move there by the Stro. That's how you take a man down. Did you see that, everybody? Watch and learn, baby. It's over. No. For a and second we'll, there. If we get the cameraman to zoom in on that chest, that chest. It is just as red as the surface oh, of Mars. Big kick. Man, the Reaper big is kick. really throwing out some big kicks in yeah. this match. Big kicks. The Reaper on the top rope. The tippity top rope. Oh, frog splash. Frog splash two. Oh. And Stro kicks out. The Stro kicks out. Where does he find it? I don't know. Eight minutes has elapsed. Two minutes remaining. You know, the Reaper ain't too happy right now. His knee is pretty much done. He better turn around and pay attention. The Stroh is now standing. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. He's got him. The Stroh has got the Reaper. He's got him in the submission. It's against the ropes. The Reaper is, and the Reaper bails. Yes, the Reaper bails outside of the ring. But time is of the essence right here for the Stro. He's got him again, but he's got him outside. Oh, against the steel post right there. That that would definitely break the hold. Oh man, we got first first class seats right up in here. And the action here in West Virginia. Nine minutes elapsed. One minute remaining. One minute warning. 
Referee Patrick Nicholas has got to regain control of this matchup. Come on, buddy. See, tell everybody what's going on here, man. Uh, it's just gruesome. Maestro's head has been banged and bammed right into the stage here at the Summers County Memorial Building. Bring the bell. Bring the bell. Bring the bell. Stroh is unconscious. He's out. The referee has called for the bell. You can't continue. Stroh can't continue. So the Maestro Ladies cannot continue. Our referee so. Patrick Nicholas just made the announcement that the Stroh cannot continue this match. Therefore, still remaining NWA, Mountain State Wrestling, Junior Heavyweight. Cut that music. I could finish you off anytime I wanted. But I'm gonna wait until August 20th. You see this, Stro? You see it? That's a restraining order signed by Trowich himself. Till August 20th, you can't touch me. But news for you, buddy. I can do whatever I want to you. I'll see you on the 20th. Carl, I'm not going to hear any complaining out of you, brother. By hook or by crook, you wouldn't have complained if it would have been your hand that was raised one, two, three last week. So this week, brother, that belt is on the line. I beat you once, and I know I can beat you a second time. Brother, Johnny Blast. Ever since day one, I've been here in NWA Mount State. You have looked after me, looked out for me since <laughs> we've had some good times, some bad times, some off the wall times. Oh yeah. Uh, some sometimes uh, I'll probably put in my book when it comes out. <laughs> <laughs> but I, I just want to thank you, thank you so much for all the help you've given me, and what you've done for these great fans here in NWA Mount State. I mean, you are. No problem. A legend in this business. Thank you, brother. And it's your time. And you go ahead and take the gold home for West Virginia, baby. I'm going to do it, brother. You got We're going to do we it got, today. Yeah, yeah, right today. Now. Johnny, you got lucky. Boy, did you get lucky. You just got lucky that Billy Litt decided to screw me over last week. Well, guess what? Thanks to me and the NWA elite, Billy Litt's out of the picture, Permanently. So now, it's just me and you, Johnny. Yeah, the belt may be on the line this time. But you've got nobody to protect you this week. And I can guarantee you, I'll be leaving the NWA Mountain State Heavyweight Champion. <laughs> Jacques Moliere here with the famous Buddy Love. And this Buddy is our Love. main event for this hour. Because I'm a love machine. And Jacques, I won't work for nobody but you. Oh, oh, well, uh, I think I'll pass, Buddy Love. But, but thank you. You are so kind. Uh, I appreciate your kindness, but I don't appreciate the working for me, if you know what I mean, if you know what I'm saying. <laughs> oh, man, look at this. Carl is using a... Uh, some kind of uh... athletic tape. The tape that he wore to the ring is using it as a weapon, which in, all, in many respects is legal because it's part of his equipment. Is it? It's like using a boot. Well, if you have athletic tape around your wrist, you can use it as a weapon, but you can't use it to choke. That's the only thing that was illegal was the choke. Well, if it's legal, I mean, you know. Oh, Carl just laughing on laughing. Crazy on. Carl. He is the Psycho Superman. The hardest head in Mountain State Wrestling. And I don't mean stubborn. I mean strong. What, what? Looks like he's going to tie 
Tie the leg to the rope. He's just destroying that knee. The psycho Superman is going psycho crazy. This ain't nothing new, everybody. Uh, Carl is as crazy and as psycho and weird as they come. I mean, it's over. No. That was uh, Johnny Blast better hurry up and do something here. Because... Johnny Blast is a wily veteran. If there's one thing he can do is he can make a comeback when it seems like he's down to his last leg. Well, I, I, I expect Johnny to get out of this sometime. He's a, he's a wily veteran. He's been in this business for quite some time. I, I believe he's actually been here since 1998. He's been uh, with Are you NWA. sure it's not 78? Well, uh, I'm sure 88. it's 1998. Okay. Yes, uh, I believe I heard him backstage uh, uh, when I was going to interview him. Oh, man. Well, it's obvious right now what Carl is going to be doing. Yeah. I figured Carl's strategy out. He's going to be working on that left leg of Johnny Blast. Oh, man. And, and I, I mean, it's a smart choice. It's a great decision. The leg is, is, is its just not going to be the same after this match. I mean, he, it, I won't Look be surprised this clover leaf. if Johnny Blast uh, taps out. Oh, man. Wow. Yes, wow is not that's the word. That's painful. That's that's putting stress on all the knee ligaments, both right and left knee and the ankle. I, I'll tell you what the word for that is. The word for that is not wow. It's that don't tickle right here at NWA, Mountain State Wrestling. That don't tickle. Yes. You, you need to trademark that and sell some t-shirts, Jack Moliere. You think so? No, not really. No. Well, oh, the reverse, but wisely, Carl... Pulling a veteran move, grabbing the rope. Because that don't tickle. Absolutely. I uh, I got my... Uh, I, I've been gone for a while. Is that something you've used quite often? Uh, yes, actually. Okay. Uh, I, I hate to rain on your parade. I'm sorry. I'll, well, I'll, I'll, it, it's true, buddy. You know, it, it, it don't tickle. You're right. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, what, you, you think you're going to laugh? I mean, well, well Carl, Carl does. Carl might laugh, yeah. you know what I mean? But uh, that's because he's sick, you know. There's something wrong with him. Oh, man. Wow. Dang! I mean, dang! Woo wee! One more time? Oh! Oh wow! You know that's steel pulse right there, fans. I don't know if anybody has ever come to our show live, but if you do, you can actually see that that's steel right there. And speaking of uh, actually coming to a show, what you guys need to do is you really need to mark it down on your calendars because the Jamboree is coming to Summersville, West Virginia, Saturday, August 20th at the Youth and Community Center. Like and if you said, haven't been in this building, it is a great facility. Oh, it's absolutely wonderful. Uh, plenty of seats, you know, uh, it's a big area. It's going to be the biggest show of our year. Well, one of the biggest shows of the summer, I should say. And Jacques Moliere, yes. there's one thing about NW Mountain State Wrestling that I can guarantee. What's that? There's no lockouts. There's no strikes. There's no off-season. We come and we bring it every week. So come on out. If you've never been to a show, if you've only seen this on TV, make it a point to come out to Summersville in August. Fans, all you gotta do is open the gate, walk through it, jump in the car, hit the gas, get here fast, because I'm telling you, I promise you're gonna have a blast coming here to NWA Mountain State Wrestling. Oh, man. You might have a Johnny Blast. Oh, exactly. Speaking of blast, Johnny Blast. That's a good point, buddy. But, but Johnny Blast, Carl, has had this match, if you ask me. If I was a judge, and if I had to make my, my decision on who won the match, it would definitely be the NWA Mountain State Wrestling Heavyweight Champion, Carl. But, you know, I don't want to speak too soon now because, you know, you never know here at NWA Mountain State Wrestling. Six minutes into this match. Six minutes into this match. Johnny Blast with the headbutts. Carl fires back. Another headbutt, and that's a hard head. Well, I've been in the ring with Johnny Blast, and he nearly broke my fist when he ran into it. Well, you got two hard heads in this ring right now, ladies and gentlemen. Two of the hardest heads 
And, and if you're hard-headed, you're pretty much... It's just... It's just painful to watch right now what and Carl is doing to Johnny Blaze. The human body, the knees, the ankles are not designed to move in that direction. It's over! No, he got a shoulder up. Barely got a shoulder up. Barely, absolutely. Is it over now? Yes! Oh, man. No. Uh, Johnny Bliss is feeding and is desiring that heavyweight title. He absolutely wants it. It's been over six years, I believe, since Johnny's been the heavyweight champion of NWA Mount State Wrestling. Here we go. Oh, oh. This could be the opening. Can he dig deep? Well, Can that knee hold up? Calmer is a son of a gun because now Carl, his knee, his left leg doesn't look like it's feeling too good right now. And Johnny Blast just dropped on his own knee executing that move. Well, that just shows you. That shows you how important this championship is. This is the most coveted heavyweight championship on the East Coast. Well, you know, buddy, it's that adrenaline rush. When you get that rush, I tell you, it's amazing. I don't know if anybody has ever gotten an adrenaline rush, but they don't call it an adrenaline shot for nothing. Because when you get a natural adrenaline, that's exactly what you're capable of doing. Even though you're in so much pain, so much agony, you still have that little bit left in you to come back into this match. And now Carl laying down in that ring along with Johnny Bless. Both men are absolutely giving it all they got, going at it, punch after punch. Oh, and a shortcut by the champion. That was a cheap shot, but uh, you got to do what you got to do. He's got him. No, Johnny Blast got him. Oh, Johnny God. Blast, he could do it. This could be it. He's got to make the cover. He's got to get over. And yes. One, hold up. two. Oh, man. And broke it up. The, the Reaper, what is he doing? What? Johnny Blast's title shot was just ruined by Matt Kennard, the uh, Reaper. Winner of the match due to a disqualification, Johnny Bless. Well, but still the heavyweight champion is Carl. What's this? What, what does uh, Carl have? He's got scissors. He's gonna cut his hair? No, no way. Oh, the stroke. Oh, he's coming out here. The maestro was able to walk. How is he able to do this? Oh, okay, everybody. Look at this! The Stroh is all right. He's he's suffering. I, I I appreciate the Stroh's effort and the concern, but he is in no condition to be out here. Ring the bell. Keep ringing the bell. We need some help out here. The Stroh should not have been released from the no, EMTs. The Stroh should not have came out here. Absolutely no way. Come on. Somebody in the back has got to come out. We should do something. We should we we should help. I'm sorry, as a commentator, if I touch a performer, I could get fired. Oh, Carl just hitting Patrick Nicholas, the referee. Come on, how much can a man take? Break it up. The man has enough, had enough. Once again, Carl assaulting the referee. He's not a wrestler. This, this is just low class. I'm not a wrestler, but I'm about to go in there and do something. I have a wrench in my hand. Come Break it up. Break it up. The, the fans just, just don't like The fans are in stuff. stunned silence. The elite. See what they can do. They can cheat. August 6th, Merman, West Virginia. You'll have Tristan Law and Ray Ray Mars there. Bell time's at 7.30. So y'all better come out to see the greatest tag team the NWA Mountain State has ever seen. Your boy Double R Ray Ray Mars, the true headliner of Mountain State, and Big Tristan Law. Obey the law. Get on our level. Be there.
What's up, internet wrestling fan base? It's the Outlaw Rockstar. So weak. Can I get a graphic here that says sweet? Stephen Hensley. Now I know you're sitting at home on your computer monitor watching NWA Mountain State Wrestling. I believe we're up to episode 283 now. Is that right, Zach Tar? 283? You're asking yourself, what in the blue crap is this commentary? I mean, really? They found two guys out there who are capable of not only making you miss me more than you thought you could, but make you long for the days that Jonathan Stiles was doing commentary? I mean, come on. Buddy Love and Jacques Moliere are the guys doing commentary for NWA Mount State Wrestling. Ha uh ha. -uh. Not for long. Not gonna last. Not gonna happen. Not on my watch. On the www. Anything that matters on the internet revolving around wrestling, I promise you this. After this week's episode, you're going to receive the return of the Outlaw Rockstar, starting with episode 285, Zach Tarr. 285. Episode 285, Outlaw Rockstar returns. I don't know who's going to be with yet, me. Not yet. I don't know yet. I wish I knew, but I'm going to promise you this. What you saw happen this week, two guys that don't have a clue doing what they're doing, it's never going to happen again. Got love? Get lost. Jacques Moliere? Really don't care. Outlaw Rockstar rules. Outlaw Rockstar is cool. NWA Mount State Wrestling, I'm coming back for you. I will save the day for all the fans in West Virginia that matter. All two of them. And for everyone on the web that loves me. I know there's a lot of you there. For some reason, you're smarter than the folks that come to our shows. But the Outlaw Rockstar, he's coming back. Breathing fire!